Hello everyone and welcome to Danira's love letter number 14. I'm joined by my good friends Ali and Andrina as we prepare to launch our new fantastic upgraded website danira.com. But in the meantime, we've got this newsletter that we love, love, love sending out to you guys. And we've got you two here to tell us what's going on. So Ali, what's happening in the newsletter this week for you? There's so much great stuff happening in the love letter. And look, there have been a lot of things that are challenging around the last 14 weeks for many of us. But one thing that has brought us all so much joy is sharing such incredible Jewish content from around the world with you all. Uh, and it's it's a coincidence that Ilan is wearing beautiful purple lilies on his clothes today because uh, they were my grandmother's, one of her favorite flowers. Oh, wow. And she has inspired some of uh, some of the the articles in the love letter this week. One in particular is uh, focused on some of the Yiddish terms that you, whether or not you know, should be using in everyday conversation. And there are some real firecrackers in this article. So make sure you check it out and set yourself a challenge uh, to start using some of these Yiddish terms when you when you bump into people in the street or you catch up with. <laughs> For a coffee, I want to throw it out to you two. What are some of your favourite Yiddish words? Ooh, you got me on the spot, Andrina. Mm, well, I will take balabasta. That's definitely one. I love a good schmooze every day. Schmooze several times a day. Um, there's, there's, there's so many, and I think we underestimate how much we use in our everyday language uh, already. But I mean, I could go on and on. <laughs> I learned uh, a I'll great little one beside me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I learned a great little word the other day when I when I sang um, Regenbogen, <laughs> which is rainbow. Anyway, I, I, I sang uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow the other day for uh, Yiddish Poetica. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. How good's Yiddish? I mean, what's so incredible about Yiddish is that it's infused in popular culture. Mm. Such a For such a lost language, people that I catch up with and speak to and use Yiddish words with who aren't Jewish mm. know Yiddish. Yeah, and did you guys know that the oldest cultural institution in Australia, the oldest of all the institutions, is Kadima down in Melbourne, the Yiddish Institute down there. So it's it's amazing. It's really incredible and rich and purposeful, beautiful. Um, so Andrina, I guess I guess you're always cooking up something. What's happening this week? We are spoiled for choice this week, Ilan. <laughs> there is so much going on. Spring has sprung. We are bringing lots of delicious flavors and herbs and flowers. Um, we're going to roast some trout. We're going to make a lot of yummy salads. Um, there will be some springtastic desserts and the obligatory um, cocktail. So a lot to bring in this week to welcome. That was my spring. phone ringing. I was sure it was your bat phone in the background there, uh, Andrina. Does that work? It actually does. And I'm oh. calling the fashion police, Ilan. They're on their way over. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, everyone, we'll have a sweet, sweet rest of the week. That was a lot of fun. Um, and wish you all well from Danira. Welcome back and welcome home. Bye. <laughs> Bye.